Here's a round poncho inspired by one of my absolutely favorite artists, Gustav Klimt. And of course it's not uh, very close to his creation because it's on silk, you can do the same thing, but it's actually his water snake design. And I created some abstract background and I have the figures in front and the black background. Okay, this is a square poncho inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe and one of her uh, morning glory flowers. So it's very multicolored, happy looking piece. And here is my black and white, not exactly black and white, but mostly. And it's, you can't go wrong with this color combination. It works on everybody. And that my favorite subject matter is the zebra for black and white. And here is my recent discovery. I found out that organza can be absolutely incredible in garments because it holds the shape and it's very different. It's sheer. So I created a series of coats from silk organza. This is very abstract, black and white, mostly gray design. Picasso. Poncho. I love Picasso. So I modified his uh, painting of the woman's head, of a woman's head, uh, into this abstract piece with different color background and frame. So this is my favorite Picasso. And here's the largest piece I work on for wearable art. It's a cape. It's actually a U-shaped piece and you need a big frame to create this but capes are wonderful because they're so versatile you can wear them formally over your shoulders you can make a hold the top dress putting it onto on a swimming suit if you're in a cruise or i actually took a collection of capes in a cruise from venice to greece and i sold several on the cruise because you know you you want to go for a drink, you throw it on top of a swimming suit, and you look great. You can make a skirt. And it doesn't matter how tall you are, you can lift it up, you can put it down, so it, it's very versatile. Or tie it on one shoulder. So this piece inspired by Kandinsky. And here is uh, one of Kandinsky inspired capes. It's uh, more complicated. It has a lot of layering. You can see yellow guta in this case and different underlay color for, to create uh, the depths. There's a lot of details. And uh, those capes are wonderful with scarf clips. I create those scarf clips separately, a little swatches of color matching the capes. And then you can clip your cape to create totally different look. You take two pieces in your hand, put it through the ring, and that creates very nice look.